What's up folks? Back out here again with another video. This time I'm with my good friend Cecilia, also known as CC. Do you love me? Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, we are out here testing, or really we're not even testing. I've used this thing for a long time. I've had it for a while. The uh, Geekodo GT200 is basically like an 8200, like their version of the uh, Godox 8200. And I've actually ran into these people last year at WPPI. Really good people. They sent me out this to test. I made, I did a shoot with it before with another model, but I wasn't happy with how the video came out, so I decided to do another shoot with it again and put this thing to use, put it to work. I've had it for a while, I've used it, so I'm familiar with it somewhat, but I wanted to make an official YouTube video showing like what it can do, what its capabilities are. It's basically a 200 watt light strobe, mini strobe. So anyways, uh, I brought CC out to come out and do some looks with this light to test out some flash. You guys know I'm typically like natural light or flash depending on the situation, but I'm gonna focus on off camera flash today. So yeah, enjoy the show in and out. Let's get started. You ready? Yes. Peace. Let's do it. Why did I say peace? I do Shit, it's just, anyways, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just so you guys know my settings, right now it's early in the day. It's what, like five o'clock? It is 5.30. Let me know that you guys know what time sun sets. Sun sets at eight o'clock. So it's about two and a half hours before sunset. So right now I have my light in my 28 inch uh, deep parabolic softbox. It's a glow 28 inch deep parabolic softbox. And I have the light at one half power. So I'm shooting at one half power. I have my Nikon Z6 with the 85 1.8. I'm at one one thousandth of a second at F 1.8. So we'll see how it does, how it handles high speed sync at half power. And yeah, we'll just go. Now at first glance you're probably thinking this looks just like an 8200 Pro. What's the difference and why should I care? And you know, you're right to feel that way because I kind of did as well. And to be honest, there isn't much of a difference between the two lights and that's a good and a bad thing. Let me explain. Hold that. It all started at WPPI while I was at the 2019 WPPI trade show. I was hanging out with my good buddy Aldris and we ran into the good folks that work for Kigoto. We exchanged a few words and went on about our business. Soon after, they reached out to me to receive a test unit to review and I gladly accepted the offer. Boom. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now this particular light is Geekodo's entry into the off-camera flash arena and comes in two versions. You can get a full kit that comes in a carrying case with all the accessories to get you started like a small softbox, a dinky light stand, some gels, a grid, and a few other things to handle any situation you may find yourself in. The other version is just a basic light by itself with a battery and a charger. Okay, so uh, just so you guys... Oh. <laughs> Am I even recording? <laughs> So we're at full power, shooting right against the sun. The sun is right behind the model, and uh, yeah, let's shoot. Perfect. Yep. So yeah, like I said, the Geekodo GT200 is a lot like the ever popular Godox 8200. It's a small, compact 200 watt battery power strobe light. They both are very close in dimensions. The specs are pretty much the same as far as the cycle times, color temperatures, battery life, and all that good stuff. The biggest difference that I found is that the Geekodo isn't able to switch between a bare bulb and a Fresnel head like the Godox can which honestly isn't a big deal to me. I have no issues with the Fresnel head and it works just fine in all the modifiers. The Fresnel head in the Geek Coda has a modeling lamp inside which comes in handy in a pinch. Like if you need to find your keys, if you're looking, you know, if you lost your keys in the car or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm. You feeling number what? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. High five. Mm-hmm. What's up, folks? Second outfit, second location, okay? We have our model here, Lovely, in an ensemble. What is this? It's a jacket and some jeans, all right? Let's just keep it simple, right? Jacket and some jeans. So, we have our Geek Koto here. It is in our 31 by 47 inch glow softbox. This is like a big, a big old rectangular softbox. Actually, this purchase was influenced by Keydrin because Keydrin uses the cheetah stand version of this. He calls it the window light. And ever since I saw it, I was like, you know, I want to be like Keydrin when I grow up. So I decided to buy something that he bought, but the cheaper version. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so we have our flashpoint stand with our 31 by 47 inch softbox glow rectangular model in the corner. We're going to get started and get the shooting. And then, yeah, let's just, let's just, um, let's just go. You ready? Okay. Y'all look, okay, let me see, hold, oh, she working with something back here, ain't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me find out, let me find out. Stop, cut it, cut it out. <laughs> yeah. It uses the 2.4 gigahertz wireless system, just like the one that Godox uses. In fact, even though the Geekoda provides their own wireless triggers to work with the lights, you can program the flash to work with the Godox X system so that you can use the Godox X Pro triggers to control the lights and use high speed sync all the same. Although sometimes the flash goes into standby mode and to get the Godox trigger to work, I had to manually cut the flash off and back on again just to get it to sync back up. Not a big deal as long as you keep the flash busy, but if you let it sit for a while, it may lose connection and you might need to reset the system. Now, about the good and the bad things about this flash kit. The fact that it comes with a starter kit is pretty nice. Although I can't see myself using any of the items in this kit. The light stand is pretty flimsy and not very sturdy and the soft box is just meh. I gave them a chance in the first video review that I tried to do and although I managed to get some pretty decent images and one of my most favorite shots I've ever taken, this time I was much more comfortable using a sturdier light stand and a bigger, better octobox. Also, the full kit comes in at a pretty steep price of $3.99 if you don't plan on using any of the included items. But the good news is, is you can purchase the light by itself with just a battery and a charger for around $2.79, which puts it $20 under the $8,200 and makes the light very competitive and slightly a better value than the Godox, in my opinion. And to top it off, they just released a slightly more powerful version of this light and a 250 watt version with a round head for just $379. So, if you're in the market for a portable 200 watt strobe, the Geekoto GT200 might just be worth looking at. Okay folks, we are done with the shoot. I uh, had a great time. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Cecilia had a great time. The light performed well. You saw my, me get some good shots with this uh, Geekoto 200 watt light. I probably did a voiceover. I'm not sure if I did a voiceover, if I will do a voiceover, but if I did, you know, I, I said what I had to say about the light in the voiceover. Hope you guys enjoyed the shoot. Um, and yeah, peace out. Got nothing else to say. Stay tuned for the next uh, video coming out soon. Anything else you got? Any, yeah, that just peace? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and YouTube, in the live stream. <laughs> what? Boy, my cheeks getting thick. <laughs> I need to get out here and start running. <laughs> Stay there. Hey, get it, get it. Ooh. Eight. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Let me switch in my age. <laughs> It's a movie, alright. It's a movie. It's gonna be later.